Guys, the Samsung Z Flip 6 come with so many new features, like a new 50 megapixel camera, sick new customization, styling, and it can text for you. So let me show you the best tips and tricks on the best flip phone out there. Let's go. So straight out the box, you might notice there aren't any apps on the cover screen yet. But if you head into your phone settings and scroll all the way down to advanced features and in here tap on labs, you'll then see this option, apps allowed on cover screen. Once you turn it on, make sure you also toggle on all the apps. Then back on the cover screen, just tap and hold down to enter the widget section. And now if you scroll all the way to the right, you'll see this apps widget, which you can add. This is a bit limited because you don't get all the apps, but if you go to the Galaxy Store, you can download something called Goodluck. Once it's downloaded, open it up and look for the multi-star option, because in here you'll find this I Love Galaxy foldable option, and if you tap on it, then select Launcher Widget, now you can pick whatever app you'd like on the cover screen. Or you could just pick all of them. Then again, go back to the cover screen, tap and hold down to go to your widgets, and right over here, you can add the Good Luck Apps widget and have access to all your apps. So you can open up your emails and read through those right on the cover screen, play basically any game you want, scroll through Instagram, or even control all your music with Spotify, all on the cover screen. But you can also open any app by just double pressing the side button. And to do this, just go back into settings and advanced features again, then under side button, tap on open app and decide whatever app you want it to be. So whether you wanted to quickly search for something on the internet or maybe reply to messages, just double click the side button. Nice. I mean, if you think about it, you can use the Flip 6 entirely just from the cover screen. That's flippin' crazy. <laughs> Okay, now the Flip 6 actually has a wallpaper that you won't find anywhere else. To find it, just tap and hold down on the cover screen, then swipe through the wallpapers and you'll see it right over here. Now, what's so cool about this wallpaper is it's dynamic, meaning that it moves based on how you move and reacts based on how you tap the screen. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of mesmerizing. And what's also cool is if you go back into settings, then scroll down to cover screen and tap on add new. In here, if you scroll down, you'll see this interactive option and there's a few other different ones to pick from. I mean, it's a fun, quirky wallpaper to have, but hopefully to add some more design soon. Then back inside your wallpaper settings, if you scroll down, you'll find this new photo ambient wallpaper option and once you tap on it you can actually choose a picture from your gallery to set as a wallpaper and of course you can adjust the clock or even choose an entirely different clock but then check this out once you set it as your wallpaper it'll detect the weather and then display that like whether it's raining or snowing and the time of day based on where you are and incorporate that into the wallpaper kind of bringing it to life but we're not done yet because I also suggest you guys check out the informative wallpapers where in the past you were able to choose a picture from your gallery and set that on your wallpaper as well as change the colors to whatever you want but now you can also adjust the widgets. So you can remove and replace these widgets with a couple different options like weather stats, battery info or notifications. There's not a ton of options but still at least you can choose what type of widgets you'd like to see and of course you can design it to suit your own unique style. But if none of those do it for you then don't forget you can still set an animated live wallpaper just like this one that you can grab from hailswall.com. I mean, come on. Look how cool that looks. Okay, now the Flip 6 got a huge camera update from 12 megapixels to 50, which is pretty massive. But you'll notice that when you take pictures, if you swipe up to the information, it still takes them in 12 megapixels. But to change this, all you actually have to do is open up the camera and under photo mode, tap on this 12M so it goes to 50 megapixels, but then head into your camera settings and scroll all the way down until you see settings to keep and right over here, turn on high picture resolution. Now, every time you open the camera, it'll instantly be on 50 megapixels so you don't have to switch it on and you can just snap some pics. And get this, you can also use the updated camera for video calls. So to do that, just open up a video calling app on the cover screen, like WhatsApp for example. Then in your contacts, if you start a video call with someone, it'll of course use that main camera and your video quality will be so much better. And another new camera trick to the Flip 6 is if you go into video mode and flex your phone to hold it like this and then hit the record button, it activates this camcord mode where you can zoom in and out using just your thumb and a few other settings just like a camcorder. 
And while it's folded, if you press this button, the viewfinder will drop down to the lower screen. And this way you can take waist level photos, which actually look better than taking photos from eye level. But enough about taking pictures, cause the Flip 6 also has some tricks to transforming them too. Now there are three really cool ways you can transform your photos. The first one is if you choose a pic of a person and then press this little icon over here, the magic editor will open up where you'll find this new portrait studio option. And if you select portrait studio, you'll get four different art styles to choose from like comic, 3D cartoon, watercolor and sketch. Just go ahead and pick one of these because what it'll do is transform that person into that art style, which is actually a lot of fun to play around with. It's not always 100% accurate, but still you can definitely see their features. And if you ask me, this is a pretty cool way for making some stickers. But I'd also love to see this feature work for pets too. So Samsung, if you're listening, then for the second transform pick, again, if you have a photo of someone or yourself and you swipe up on it, you'll now see this live effects button. And if you tap on it, it'll turn your photo into a 3D video, which basically gives your pick a bunch of depth, which actually looks really cool. And you can use it for one specific reason, which I'll show you a bit later. Then the third trick is back inside this magic editor and it's called sketch to image. So let's say you wanted to add something to one of your pics. Well, all you do is just draw whatever it is you want, use Using your finger, like a golden crown for example, and don't worry if your drawing's bad, once you're done just click on generate, and in a few seconds it'll actually detect what you drew and add it to your photo as if it was there in real life. It is so insane at how well this works, and while you're drawing a little trick you can do is if you hold down at the end of your sketch, it'll actually correct the shape so that the result comes out much better, and I mean these results are just absolutely insane. It's a lot of fun to play with, and I was actually really surprised with how accurate it is, so you've just got to try this out. So remember that 3D photo we made earlier? Now let me show you what you can actually use it for. If you go into your phone app and then into contacts and select your own contact, you'll now see that you can set up your own profile card. So once you tap it, it'll take you to this section where you can then go into your gallery and select that 3D video we made earlier. It'll give you a quick preview of your profile card, but then you can still go and edit it even more by tapping on your name and making the font a bit thicker or choosing a different color. And why this is so cool is once you're done, if you click on this profile card and picture, in here you can actually toggle on to share your profile card and picture. Which means now, whenever you phone someone that also has a Samsung, your profile card will show up on their phone. Or if they have their own contact card and they phone you, it'll show up on your phone. So cool. Another little trick you can do with these profile cards is if you have a friend that's not on Samsung, you can go into that contact and create one for them. So again, you can choose whatever image or video you want. And if it's a person, the portrait studio option will show up in there where you can generate some pics of them. Then just style the name to whatever font, thickness or color you want so that the next time they phone you, their sick new custom profile card will pop up. And another little trick not a lot of people know is if you get a phone call but don't want to answer it, instead of putting the phone down, you can just put your hand over the screen to mute it instead. Okay, now let me show you another brand new feature that you just have to try. Inside the side panel, you'll now find this icon and with it, you can actually draw out anything on your screen. It does not need to be perfect or anything as you can see, cause once you're done, if you select this art style and pick from one of these five different options, then tap on generate, your Flip 6 will completely transform your sketch into a proper artwork. This is just so cool. And another thing you can do is open up a picture, then sketch to image. And if you tap on these three little dots, you'll notice this transparency option where you can drop the transparency and actually trace over your picture. Again, by no means does it have to be perfect as you can see. And when you're done, just pick an art style, tap on generate, and you got a sick artwork that you can use for a bunch of different things. By the way, if you're ever in notes, you can actually do the same thing here too. Just draw a selection around your sketch, tap on generate, and ba-bam, in a couple of seconds, you've got a much better drawing. I mean, this isn't even a smartphone anymore. It's just on a whole nother level. 
Okay, so we're not actually done with the side panel just yet, because right under the sketch to image option, you'll now find the smart select. And there are three different tricks you can do with it. For starters, if you're scrolling through Instagram, for example, and want to quickly take a screenshot of anything, just tap on literally any image you'd like to save. It'll instantly come up with these options where you can share that image, or you can download it straight to your gallery. You can also tap on any text to instantly select it, which is so cool, especially for things like Instagram, where you can't usually copy text. And for the third trick, instead of tapping to take a screenshot, you could just draw around the exact area you'd like so it's more precise, or you can use these little handles to adjust the size and save that as a screenshot. But as smart as the side panel is, it's not actually the smartest part of the flip. Okay, so here are a few of the smartest quick tips that everyone should know, and I'm leaving the best one for last. For the first tip, if you hold down on your navigation bar or center button, your flip will actually scan your entire screen, and there's a few things you can do with this. Like if you're scrolling through social media and watching reels, then tap and hold down on the center button, you can circle anything on the screen, and it'll quickly look it up on Google for you. I mean, this is ridiculously useful. Or if you need any text translated, you can point your camera at it, hold down the scan button, and if you tap on that translation icon, all of it gets translated. Then for my favorite quick smart tip, and this one's gonna save you a ton of time. Inside Samsung internet, while scrolling through web pages, if you come across a super long article, did you know that you can just tap this icon right over here, tap on summarize, and your flip will scan the entire page and summarize it in a few points for you. And if you tap on this icon, you can even ask it to give you a more detailed summary, just in case you want that little bit of extra info. This is really cool. So believe it or not, but your Flip 6 can actually write all your messages for you. It is so easy and all you have to do is go into your messages app and in here just go into any chat and press this magic compose icon. And basically what this does is read your most recent texts and write a message for you based on what you said in your previous text with that contact. So if you wanted to instantly reply to someone, this is literally the best way to do it because it sounds like you and it includes emojis. And to take it a step further, if you select this icon inside the Samsung keyboard, you'll find this composer option. And this is basically a chat composer. So in this box, you just type out what message you want to write. You can also then choose the format, like an email, for example, and the tone of that message. Whether that's casual, polite, or professional, just click generate and it'll write everything for you. You can just press insert, then it'll go into your mail and you can send it off, saving you so much time. And back inside this icon, on your keyboard, you'll also find writing styles, or what I like to call rewrites, because basically this takes your message you've already written and just rewrites it for you, but in a different style. So it can text for you, but it can also talk for you. Bonjour. So this next trick is probably one of the most unique things you can do on the Flip 6. By now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you know about the Interpreter app that translates what you're saying from one language to another language. But on the Flip, it now has this new cover screen button that if you press it, you'll notice that whatever you say will actually get translated to the cover screen for the other person, which makes it so much easier for them and whatever they say will then get translated for you on the main screen. I mean, this was just such a smart move from Samsung. And as you can see, the Flip 6 is a powerhouse full of some of the coolest tech out there. And there's even more they can do, so make sure you check out these videos for that. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!